If you'd like to look into the full workout used for this session, check the descriptio. Welcome to the first portion of the tricking catalog that we're going to get started with. I found this would be an awesome concept to come up with you guys. But uh, I'm just going to try and go through all of the different rolls at all of the different angles that I can think of. Not just forward and backwards, but backwards, diagonal, the other backwards, diagonal, completely sideways, opposites. All right, I think that's what we're gonna stick to to our rolls today. First, I'm gonna show you guys my butterfly kick, which I think is beautiful. So the first concept that we're gonna learn going into this is just how to draw the letter U. We're gonna draw it with our hips and our shoulders and our nose at the same time. We're gonna draw a big U. The next thing that we're gonna do, level two of the, the butterfly kick, is we're gonna draw a U with our shoulders, our hips and our nose. And then we're going to pick our right leg up off the ground, or our left, depending on what side you're on. I pick up my right. Draw you. Now pick your leg up. Now I'm just going to add my arms with my nose and my hips and my shoulders in the letter U, and then pick my leg up off the ground, which looks like this. Draw a U with your nose and your arms. Kick your leg up. Oh. Now what's going to make this a little bit more dynamic looking is being able to get your legs parallel with your chest on the ground. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're just gonna wanna kick those legs back behind you more so you're not jumping like, like this. You're more like jumping like this. And that's what's gonna get you whoosh. Put it all together, arms, nose, shoulders, hips, in the letter U to the kicky thing where you kick back and back. And then you have yourself a beautiful butterfly kick. My nose, my shoulders, my hips, kick back. And boom. You got a, got a butterfly kick. This next skill that we're gonna work on is the front kick. I'm not too good at these, but that's why we're here, right? It's to get better at things that we are not good at. Don't take what I have to say for gospel. I am not a black belt in Taekwondo. Uh, I've just been doing tricking for a while. If you wanna learn more about the front kick, I suggest looking up some, some good guys on, on YouTube or taking a Taekwondo class if you can afford that. I'm just gonna knock out 10 sets of three front kicks on both sides going to lift your knee up for the chamber and what i saw is that he kind of popped his hip out for step two instead of just the kick and then extended the front kick which this is all i got i am not flexible in a solid front kick you're gonna want to get your knee up a little higher than that and that's why they have you kick your hip out to get that full extension through your leg and chamber step two lengthen through the hips pull that knee into your chest and then extend all right, let's get some, some roundhouse kicks knocked out. I've noticed that it's better to keep constant pressure on your fingertips and not on the palms of your, of your hands. And if you push too far into your palms, it's really hard to get back into your hands. So you really want to feel that constant pressure throughout the entire hand rather than just your palms. That was probably the greatest handstand I've ever done in my entire life. I'm going to finish today's episode here in my garage. I don't have a lot of workout equipment in here, but it feels a lot more comfortable in here than it did with the handstands in my, my room. So I'll probably be doing handstands and a lot of different stuff in the garage too. Next on the list is some lunges. Plank time. All right, some key takeaways to talk about while it's still fresh in my mind. Here I am, level one, uh, tricking curriculum created by something that is free, uh, ChatGPT, if you guys wanna check it out, it's awesome. If you guys learn how to use it and you learn how to write prompts, then you can figure out really anything. Remember not to take it for gospel. Remember to go out and do your research and uh, watch those other YouTube videos or 
fit class, whatever it is that you're into.